मेरा ये मानना है सर कि जो घोड़ा है वो युद्ध में भी हमारे साथ रहा और घोड़ा हमारा सबसे बड़ा सहयोगी रहा है And what made you choose a horse India holiday? Well, I mean... So, Laurie, do you want to introduce yourself? Where uh, have you come from? I'm Laurie Sweeney. I live in the United States in uh, um, High Prairie, Washington, in the state of Washington. And what made you choose a horse India holiday? Or a wild women holiday? <laughs> well, I mean... It's a Why India? It. Yeah, <laughs> life is what you make it, right? And if you don't have some adventures and stretch yourself and challenge yourself, you really don't know how strong you are. That's true. And uh, what have you found interesting about the ride so far, or about India and the rural area we've been riding in, or the horses? Well, the horses are beautiful. There's no doubt about yeah. that. And they're very kind uh -huh. and talented horses, so they're easy to ride. Uh -huh. Um, so that's an easy thing. I think that the villages, the fact that you get to wave to people and really be in their space and see what their lives are like, is a pretty unique experience, actually. can be quite humbling. Well, yeah, it's that. It's that a bit. I mean, of course, travel is one where mm. you always are grateful to go home. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. I mean, it would be odd if you weren't. Yeah. Um, but uh, I think also it's just wonderful to be able to experience another's perspective, right? It yeah. gives you such gratefulness, not just for your own life, but just that we get to connect mm. with people in real ways, mm. I think. Mm. Mm. And what has been the highlight so far? Anything? Oh gosh, I have the most wonderful horse. Okay, good. Yes. <laughs> uh, I've nicknamed Mum. And um, she will just do anything. Mm. And I'm kind of game to do anything, so mm. that's fun for do me. Do you think your riding is progressing? Oh heck, I'm just surviving. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I'm not a, I'm not an accomplished horsewoman. I don't have okay. a horse at home. Okay. Uh, I do this for the experience, and mm. I try to listen to what the um, guides are saying and just have a mm. good time and mm. kind of just survive it in a way. You know, I mean, it's, it's an experience that um, is so unique. You have you have to kind of put on another hat, mm. I think. And I, I always say it's good to frighten yourself to a certain degree oh, yeah. every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keeps so, you alive, right? Yeah, exactly. And then you know you're living. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. I'm 64, so mm. I made a commitment in my 60s to do a trip mm -hmm. like this every year of my 60s. Wow. So, and my husband supports me doing that, and I, I really, uh, I really enjoy it. It's, yeah. it. it's something to look forward to and kind of a challenge to myself. Oh. Excellent, excellent. So where are you off to next after here? Next year I'm going to the Azores in Portugal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I'm also doing some traveling with my husband. Okay. To Tanzania okay. and Ireland. And have you Scotland. done other riding trips previously? Yes. Um, I, last year we rode in Mongolia. Wow. And the year before that we took a herd through Iceland. Lovely. That was really fun. And then the year before that, I was in Canada um, in Banff, yeah. in the mountains. Wow. Yeah. So you're great. really getting to explore the world on horseback. Right. Testing out my bum, right? <laughs> Giving it a real challenge. <laughs> you might have to cut that one. <laughs> <laughs> I can use the word bum. No. <laughs> I was really purposeful about that. I just used an American term. <laughs> Love it. Oh, Are we done? Brilliant. I think we're done. Yeah. It's time yeah. to get on the horses. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Ciao.